Here we are, we we're on our, on our way to Merriweather Carlton Rugby Club tonight for the uh, Waratahs Coaches Forum that we're putting on in Newcastle before the game. We have uh, Rob Penny, uh, Maddie Cobain and uh, Chris Whitaker coming up to talk to over 50 local coaches uh, just on what they've been doing with the Waratahs, how their lead-in's been to the game and, and uh, looking for so the coaches can come to the game on Saturday and enjoy themselves knowing a bit more. So we're looking forward to it, I think it'll be a great night. that underpin our game. And I think our game is very unique. Rugby is such a, such a special game with uh, the continuity aspects which are unique like, uh, and the physical aspects which are unique. You look at, uh, and I'll take rugby league as, as obviously a close cousin of ours, but the continuity aspect in league doesn't really exist once the, well, obviously once the tackle's made and you play the ball and you start again on a new phase, if you like, you're almost guaranteed you're going to get the play the ball unless you make a silly record. Our game obviously is a breakdown in, the, in the, the technical and tactical requirements in the breakdown itself are very, very complex. And what I'm getting to here is that I can't win a breakdown on my own. You know, if I carry the ball into contact and the opposition um, dominate me in some way or that area and turn the ball over, I rely on my teammates to get in there. And that, that brings a special bond and a camaraderie whereas, which is unique to our game. And uh, that happens in many, many facets of our game. You can't win a line out on your own. You can't win a scrum on your own. And um, I, I just think that whole cultural area of rugby is really, really special. And what I was alluding to there is about how you develop that in your group. Um, you know, nurturing it because generally you'll find that there's a few mates and, a, and there's a few outsiders to come in. How can you build those 15 individuals that take the field of the 25, 26 boys you've got in your squad and to be far stronger as a collective unit than they are the combined total of the individuals? And that's through obviously a bit of goal setting for the season, a bit of inspiration, I guess, from time to time, um, but making sure that they're having fun, enjoying themselves. And they're inspired by what each other are doing. They love turning up on a Tuesday and Thursday having a lot of fun. And on the back of that, you, you're starting to get growth in your performances and, and the men are really enjoying themselves and the women are really enjoying themselves and what they're up to. I think something that Damien said there rings with me is that there's this misconception that these guys are just paid to play footy and it's got to be the funnest job in the world. I mean, just, just want to give the guys a bit of an insight into what your week looks like because from my understanding it's you're paid to turn up and train and get into that mindset to train grueling physical sport all week the reward at the end of the week is to play what's your week look like typically okay we do have we have a little bit of downtime but I'll, I'll, I'll say we, we a lot of time is taken up with training but it's not um, I suppose the while we are, let's, let's, let's just call it our school, our, our centre for facility, for example, we, we do spend a lot of time in the facility, but not not every hour is put into physical training. You know, for us now, it's probably easiest to describe a week in a game week. So we've got a game on a Saturday. Uh, on our Monday, the beginning of your Monday, a good three to four hours will be taken up with in terms of your recovery. So that's using, you know, your medical staff, your massage, that kind of stuff, um, to prepare your body to, to almost go through your week again so you can play on the weekend. In that, you'll also be doing a game review and a game preview in the following week. Here's cleaner. Here's cleaner. Fresher. Just running, running through some of our plays and, you know, just visualising it. Have you played here before? Yeah, a few times. Played here a few times. Won some, lost some. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. How good is it? Um, you know, boys got a few phone calls from their family members, you know, out in the rural areas, uh, really happy and, and glad that, you know, the rain's come out. So, you know, while we'd uh, like to play in uh, fast, dry conditions, you know, it's great for the uh, community. Yep.
guys. We're just finishing up here at our captain's run for the for the Warwick Tarsley Blues game. Fantastic uh, environment here. The field's in good nick. The rains have come down. We're all really, really excited about playing the football. We need to get the, the community in and around the event, celebrate the rain, celebrate the breaking of a drought and a bloody good football game coming up. Yeah. Hey, mate, how you doing? Good. You good? Hey, good. How you doing, mate? I met the Warthog of the SCG two years ago. Oh, did you? Yeah. How old were you then? Um, eight. Yeah, okay. Sorry, Mark. Yeah, yeah, sure. Jump in, boys. These guys with the wind. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sure, bro. How you doing? Good. What do we got? What are we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four barbarians. Yeah. Did you do, uh, you guys been on any trips yet? Port Macquarie? Um, Cost Harbour. Cost Harbour? Yeah, that's where it is every year. Very good. You go any good? Yeah. We won it. What club do you play for normally? The Wanderers. Man. Have you played in the oh, man, Harry Johnson Holmes Cup? He's <laughs> about to start that. <laughs> well, it's the Sevens Comp. 2021. It's the Sevens Comp. Out, outside backs only. Harry Johnson Holmes Cup. Yeah. The way I know that is because my dad told me that you um, played for the Wanderers. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. You wouldn't know it either, either but he didn't. Yeah, he's, he's on the, all the record, <laughs> record balls. Um, uh, yeah. ABC Newcastle, going to promote the game uh, with Craig Hamilton and a few, see what happens. I think I've got a sign in here. You want to know what the date is? 8th of Feb. <laughs> yeah, he's like that hoops, he sort of, um, you know, he has two months away from the place, but he would have been kicking himself over and keeping himself fit, and it's just a testament of the bloke he is, the diligence that he has with his training, and um, it pays off on the field. He sort of just has his role now as... as Probably not so much that leader on the field. He's um, just going about his business, and yeah, you can see um, he's getting his um, his head in dark places and things like that, which he's always done. He's yeah, he's um, one of the most consistent players <laughs> in the world. Thank you. No worries. Thanks Have very much. Have fun tonight. Thank you. You guys, yeah, see you, girls. See you later. See you, mate. These boys were down at the um, orchard yeah. yesterday. There you go, bro. Oh yeah, how was that? Let's see how you want to see you. Sambo, yeah. Taz, um, players here. <laughs> Hi Dad. How you going? <laughs> yeah. Can I do one? Yeah, good one. No, she's not. It's a wall old signature. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> good promotion. Okay. Go Taz! Uh, I'm concussion. Hey! Let's go!